Okay, so I'm at Pine Barrens Post. I'm gonna be doing a program tomorrow here, and I can't wait, but I gotta get me on that kayak. So of course, I'm gonna spend the first night at my friend's cabin because I have a program there the next day. After that, I'm gonna spend the next few nights tent camping in the Pine Barrens. I feel like I'm home. It feels good to be back. A tiny cabin. I love this place and I love my hosts. You know, it's it's two something, probably almost three. But you know what? I'm gonna hit the water. I'm gonna grab the kayak and uh, I'm gonna get paddling because I never have these opportunities and it would be wrong of me not to. You know, I'm just going to sit and relax in this kayak for a while and bob up and down with these wavelets. I mean, between the, the sunlight and this brisk breeze, it's got quite the balance. It's kind of like yin and yang. And I'm only out here for an hour or so, but I'm relishing every minute of it. So this impressive looking spider is actually a long-jawed spider and it's a type of orb weaver, meaning they make those round webs with the spokes in them. This is a female. The females are always larger than the males and they've got those rather ferocious looking jaws, but it's mostly just for looks. They generally use those for courting. And as you can tell, they can prove to be a little bit awkward when it's time to eat. <laughs> I don't know what this spider is eating, but she's definitely committed to the task. This amazing work of art is known as a calligraphy beetle, and I'm going to show it a bit more later on in the video. This cool looking beetle is actually a cucumber beetle and the camera's not doing it any justice right now. This is kind of a, almost a fluorescent yellowy lime green. Uh, I thought this was a wolf spider, but now that I'm getting a closer look at her, it's actually a six spotted fishing spider. I'm sure I don't have to say that this is obviously a female because she's carrying her egg sac around with her. She'll protect those eggs until they hatch and then she'll actually keep an eye on the, the spiderlings until they molt once or twice. After a little bit of exploring, I decided to head back to the cabin and just spend a lazy evening reading a little bit. You can carve out the seeds. This is kooka melon? Yeah. Look at that one. Look how small that is. There is like a cloud of um, deer flies chasing my car. They like to follow the mirrors. But uh, that's crazy, man. As soon as I get out, I'm going to get swarmed by these guys. Little monsters, they is. I look stupid. 
Uh, just listen to that. This is why I love coming out here, you know, alone to these wild places, especially the Pine Barrens. All I hear are these grasses rubbing against one another in this gentle breeze, the, the clicking of grasshoppers as they take flight, and these coneheads singing away. Uh, I mean, I'm just absolutely addicted to this stuff, and I could spend days out here just melting into the landscape. I gotta watch where I'm stepping, because I'm wearing shorts and sandals. It would be unfortunate if I got tagged by a, a hot snake, but it's very unlikely. One, it's unlikely I'll find one. Two, it's unlikely it would bite me without warning me first that I'm close. There are a lot of black widows around, though. that? It's gone now. Big field cricket. This tiny little skink I found. This seems to be my year for skinks. I found several ground skink species, and this definitely is the smallest one so far. This is all cranberry. Well, all that is cranberry. Oh, there's a lot of fruit. They're not ripe yet. That one is. No, it isn't. Oh, there's a good one. So I just found the, the remains of an eastern box turtle. Sometimes the shells will turn black like this one here. These deer flies are waiting for me. They are unforgiving today. There's even a couple in my car. I'm gonna have to find somewhere to turn around. I'm so absolutely infuriated over the condition of this fire pit right now. For being such a common find this time of year, a lot of people have never seen an imperial moth before. I find a good four or five of them every year and I'm absolutely excited every time. This green magnificence is a true katydid. These are responsible for that kind of clicking noise you hear at night. Like all katydids, this is a somewhat vocal species. The males sit about in treetops and on vegetation, clicking and singing away their songs. I just love the sound because it means nature 
and they don't usually start singing until those warmer evenings. So this is the second, no, this is the third longhorn beetle species I found in two weeks. Well, I'd better conclude part one of this video right here. Definitely stop by to see part two, and as usual, that's when I start to find the more exciting things like this pseudoscorpion right here.